Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a overview of the new Flypad version uh, with the FlyBywire A321X. So um, if you have noticed in the development version of the FlyBywire A321X, um, there is the new updated flight FlyPad, which is like the new operating system for it. So how this is going to work, uh, I'm going to start off by showing you the the uh, original version uh, and I'm just going to show you in the stable version and then we'll switch over to the development version and I'll showcase the new Flypad 2.0 I guess so let's go ahead and get started so let's get into our 8 through 20 Neo let's go ahead and turn the batteries on connect the external power and stuff and let's go into the Flypad so let's turn it on uh, this is like the loading thing when it turns on for the original one. And this is basically what it looks like. So you go to your your FlyBoware logo here. You can import your, your flight plans from SimBrief. You have your map, uh, which is nice. It shows you where you're, where you're at. You got your um, flight plan here, your, um, your weather. You can go to the dispatch and then see the overview of your aircraft. Uh, your flight plan, your fuel, and then you can go to all your ground services, like we can connect the jetway, external power, catering, all that stuff. And you can see the jetway starts to connect. Uh, it's a pretty good system to to start off with, but yeah, and you can even do pushback from the ground services menu too. Next you go to performance, you can do your top of descent performance and landing. Then we can go to navigation and charts. It does have Navigraph uh, compatibility. And then same thing here. And then here you can do all of your failures. In your settings, you also have different options with the aircraft. So you have aircraft configuration here, sim options, uh, you have realism, and the, uh, some settings for the MCDU. Uh, audio sounds and the set settings for the flypad itself. So overall, the base system is not bad. But let's go ahead and jump in and see the new flypad. All right, guys, we are back. I've gone ahead and switched to the de development version of the Flyboware A three two NX, so we can check out the new flypad. Let's get inside. Do the same thing as before. We go to the overhead panel, turn on the two batteries, and the external power. We'll get these aligned too. So now, while everything starts to start up, you can go to the fly pad. So as you can see, it has even a new loading screen. And look at that, we have a brand new UI for the new flight plan. So let's import our SimBrief data. And look at that. Uh, we have a brand new UI. Looks a lot better, in my opinion, than the original one. So yeah, then now we got our important information thing right here. We also have a new top bar, so we have our battery, Wi-Fi, uh, our flight plan, uh, the day, and then you can edit your important information there. So let's scroll down. We have the dispatch, uh, so we can go between. Oh, we can go between our flight plan, which is now in full screen, or our overview of the aircraft. We can go to the ground services, which has been completely uh, remodeled. The ground services tab. Uh, so you can connect the door forward, jet bridge, ground power unit cargo door, baggage truck, door aft, and catering truck. We can also get the safety cones and the wheel shocks, which is really cool to see. Then we can go to pushback and look at this. We have a literally a brand new pushback uh, like thing here. We can see where our aircraft is instead of having to look outside in the external camera. 
which is really really cool we can go to the fuel section pretty much the same as before just a better layout and then the payload where we're able to actually load our passengers so if we were to begin boarding we can see as the passengers uh, if we did if we were to do this the passengers would start boarding and yep there we go we got our chart with all of the passengers in the aircraft so this is just on another level this EFB the new version is so good guys you really probably if you have a, a high-end enough computer I would totally go with the dev version of the A321X because this is really cool and this is only the ground page we still have much more to go you can go to our performance page and we got our top of descent calculator and our landing calculator very good we have the navigation and charts uh, if you were to use it with navigraph air traffic control um, if you use iVow or VATSIM then that is for you failures so look at this we now have an entire page just full of failures that we can do with the aircraft checklists so now you have checklists built in to the actual thing so if we go to cockpit preparation and we can check these off right and we can complete the checklist up parking brake yeah we can go ahead and uh, complete the entire checklist in the EFB and we can see everything in here what we're supposed to do it's a really cool feature that has been added so now we have presets we can basically save presets for like interior lighting and stuff and we also have aircraft states so let's click on turn around confirm and it's gonna load the cockpit preset for us and look at that it's currently pretty much nothing is really uh, working right now so it's gonna go ahead and apply it real quick so that we can get the turnaround preset it might take a little bit it depends but yeah you can change your aircraft states and you can change like your interior lighting presets very cool stuff also if you don't really know uh... how everything works in here click on the question mark and it gives you an entire rundown of uh everything like that all right we can go to the settings page we can go to aircraft options um, all of this stuff um, you can go ahead and do you can see the aircraft state is going to go ahead and change in a second sim options and you got your realism and we can go back. We have the uh, some MCDU stuff, and we have audio. You can have different different stuff in there. The fly pad. Uh, so we have like a lot more stuff. So we can have it a dark theme, a blue theme, or a light theme. Oh my gosh, that hurts my eyes. <laughs> Always go with one of these. Do not, do not be fooled. Oh my gosh. That's really bad, guys. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, you can do on screen keyboard. Yeah, different stuff, different settings for the actual fly pad. And about, so this is the fly pad OS 3. Made with love with contributors in all these places. So thank you, Fly by Wire. This uh, EFB is absolutely outstanding. So, yeah. Pretty awesome new update to the fly pad. So, big thanks to the Fly-By-Wire team. Thank you guys so much for making this awesome aircraft. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe because I really do appreciate it. And can you believe it? We're only 8 subscribers away from 50. So, if you could drop a subscribe, uh, I would really be thankful for that. So, that is it for today's video. Um, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Bye.